don't be afraid to experiment with one drum, all your drums. Heck, a trick I use in Nashville is to have all prepared drums. I may have a Fleetwood Mac drum, I might have the Spin Doctors drum, I have the Police drum, I have the Bonham drum, I have the general use, you know, works for everything drum. So they're almost like little character actors and I have them all pre-prepared. So time is money in the studio and I can quickly pull up a drum and it's prepared. But um, you can do this all on one drum if you find a great drum that works for cat and bing all the way from 311 down to Fleetwood Mac. And experiment with different drum heads too. Try a try a single ply head, double ply head. Uh, this has a this is a double ply head with a dot. It's the Emperor X head. It's already really thick and, and spongy. Um, so this will also work on CS black dots. You know when I'm recording, I use CS black dots. Never have been much of like an ambassador guy because I play harder and it's just I have to change the head a lot. But if I'm playing maybe with a female artist and I have a lighter touch or I'm playing brushes, that's when I'll use an ambassador. But generally I'm using a CS Black Dot or an Emperor X. So have fun experimenting and get tuning. So it's actually has a little bit of an overtone. So I would pull up the pitch just a little bit more. Yeah, it's, or it's, I would a, little, add, it's a little low right now. Add more tape. You always have to have gaff tape. It's expensive, yes. But you can use it to tape your gear down, so you never have to worry about it moving during a performance. And you can actually use it to alter the sound of your instrument. So I don't know how people live without this. Spend 15 bucks on a roll, put it in your backpack, leave it in your backpack. Heck, every studio I go to, I, I make sure that I grab a roll. Yep. Actually, good. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Is this the drum I'm using tonight? That's the one. Oh, no. Okay.